Good morning once again, ladies and gents. Guess gets back in the world of Tamriel. Is the world called Tamriel? Or is that just the continent? I've forgotten. Nern. Nern is the world, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Anyway, um, and we're back. Um, I'm going to do the... I'm going to have a crack at the bloated float mission, where basically you, you pay to spend the night at the bloated float, which is a kind of like a, a ship uh, hotel type thing. Hotel on a boat, and um, I think when you wake up, you basically find that you're out at sea somewhere. Um, it's been a long, 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 long time since I've done any, or oh, they've done this. In fact, it's been a long time since I've done any of this type of stuff, so anyway. I'm going to wait till the morning, till the crack o' dawn, and then we'll, uh, we'll venture on board. I can't remember exactly what happens whether you have your weapons taken off you as well, but I've got a feeling... I can't remember what you have to do now. Is it hijacked by pirates? Or have you been press ganged or something like that? The bloated flute. But um, it's a good little idea for a quest. Again, Oblivion does tend to does tend to excel when it comes to uh, uh, original ideas for for quests. Anyway, rather than as I said before, as I said many times before, instead of just being you know go and get ten herbs or go and kill a bandit leader uh, or rats. Of course, it's always rats. Isn't it? So these are the yeah. This is this is the hotel slash tavern. Hello. I try to ore mill. Well met. Welcome to the bloated float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. Fairly sure she's the only inn on the on the water. It... There's a room, all right, and a fine room it is. Yours for the night, for only ten gold. I mean, the way he says it, yours for the night, for only ten gold. It's like, yeah, I'm sure there's nothing suspicious here. Yeah, I'll go on, I'll take it. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. Okay, as long as I definitely don't get press ganged. Oh, hang on. Farewell. No. I take it I can't go through there. Ormil's cabin. Ormil's cabin is hard. Fair, fine, fair enough. He said below deck, didn't he? I was just curious as to... Oh, that just takes us back out onto the deck. Is this it? There's only one room. I don't think much of your tavern, mate. Hang on, what's up there? I'm stuck. I keep getting stuck on stuff. Move! Okay, that just leads out. So these doors just lead back out on, onto, the, onto the deck. Do I not get a meal? Oh, hello. Oh, no, assassination. Look at that. Black horse courier. I mean, it almost looks like there's proper text. I like the fact there's a little icon of a dude leading a black courier, and I've just knocked a berry on the floor. Take blackberry. I will. As a memento of being here. Some people take towels and soap from hotels. I take blackberries. I hope this isn't a bad idea. I mean, as I say, I remember the first time I did this, I genuinely had no idea. What? Oh. No, hang on. I've gone back out. It is down here, isn't it? It must be. I, I had no idea this was going to happen. Okay, that one needs a key. Oh, it's in here. I see. Um, and it was a genuine shock and what the hell is going on when... Um, nice. To get my money back for the room. Uh, when, when it did happen. I can't crouch. There we go. Can I... Paintbrush. I don't know why I'm bothering to look at these. I never normally do, but anyway. So am I... Did you say left one, or... What's private room? Door is sealed. It cannot be opened. That's where all the, the press gangers are hiding, probably. Do you remember Press Gang, the, the awful kids' TV show? With Dexter Fletcher, I believe. If you're not in the UK, and you're not of a certain age in capital letters, you probably won't remember that. I mean, Dexter Fletcher's like 50 now. Anyway. Uh, God, it will sleep. Not for that long. Let's just sleep for a couple of hours. Just give them time to get out to sea. Yeah, as I say, it was such a shock when I discovered this. It's like, <gasps> an unexpected voyage. I've awakened to find out the bloated float has somehow been put to sea with myself on board. I need to find the owner and discover what's happened. Make this my active quest. What's going on? Okay, so we've got that. Oh no, I didn't go and get a new Atronach, did I? Tits. I knew it was something I meant to do before I started actually recording. I was thinking, there's something I need to go back. Um... No, what's it called? Call cool Beyond, isn't it? That's the one that I might, I might, because we're in a, we're in the confines of a small boat. I may just have this dude ready. Well, this looks good, doesn't it? Um, I might try and summon him anyway. He's like, what have you? We dragged me into the middle of this. Uh, and then I'll get ready to freeze his ass. Uh oh. Hey, who in oblivion are you? you don't Lynch. Look like one of the Blackwater brigands. Lynch is Kane here on the boat as well. Um, I'm just a passenger. What? I was told there are only two others on board. 
I locked the bouncer in the storage room, and she has the owner. So that leaves you. Now I'll ask again. Who are you? I am literally just went to... I'm from the city watch. I'm a, I'm a member of your gang. He may not believe me. I've only got those as choices as well. I'm from the city watch. Holding up a fake badge with my thumb over the photo. Um, or a member of your gang. Um, I mean, surely he's not going to believe that. Hey, I'm your best mate. We, we went to school together. Do you not remember me? Um, I'm from the city watch. City watch? I doubt it. But since you have Great. yourself with them, I think it's time to put an end to this conversation. Help! Kill him! Can you kill him? <laughs> Useless! Look at him standing in the background. There we go, finally! Alex25 killed, <coughs> killed a thief named Lynch. Apparently he's a member of some group calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands. They must have hijacked the bloated float. Uh, and put her out to sea. It appears that Lynch has locked the float, bloated, flo floated bloats bouncer. That's difficult to say, bloated floats bouncer in the storage room. I should search his body and see if there's a key to free him. I suspect there might be. Daedric Longsword. Well, you sort of helped. I wasn't like overly impressed. This isn't gonna. This this will affect your performance review. But anyway, you got leather armor. Yeah. That's right. Lynch's instructions. We'll have to have a read of those. Oh, there was also. I wanted to have a look at. I remember now. That, what's his name, the guard that attacked us and caused all of that problem before, in the last episode, he had something about ramblings of whatever his name was, and I meant to read it. I noted it when I was editing it, I was like, what's this, ramblings of something other? Lynch's instructions, let's read this. Your instructions are to make your way to the bottom deck of the ship and secure all the rooms there. Make sure you don't disturb Minx. She's to be left, my old cat, I used to have a cat called Minx. Anyway, <laughs> she's to be left alone to do her, Minnie the Minx, she's to be left alone to do her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we'll meet back in Bravel in three days. Uh, make sure you destroy this note after memorising it. L or I? One of the two. Here we are, ramblings of Ordens of Idius. Uh, I used to be somebody, I was a captain of the guard in the Imperial City until that flea-bitten hero, hey, excuse me, decided to poke his, his nose. Her knows, I'll have you know, in my business. I have a plan to get out of the Imperial Prison. Apparently there is a secret escape tunnel used by the royal family. There is, if he's obviously seen part one of this playthrough. Uh, when I get out, I'm going to settle the score with that hero. I like the way he, he's referring to me as a hero, which is obviously a complimentary uh, term. Despite the fact that it's just... Because obviously they can't put the name elsewhere. Oh, could they put the name elsewhere in? I suppose they could have done, anyway. Then I'll take care of those two snitches, Ruslan and Laronk. The sweetest of all will be Itius Hain. I don't know who that is. I'll make him squeal first. That is some ramblings. Is he worth stealing his stuff? Why not? Ha! You got out thieved. Right, we're going to go up, to up deck. Oh, needs a key. Hang on, isn't it? Is this a sealed? I did pick up a key, didn't I? Didn't I get a key? Oh! Uh oh. Who are you? About time someone showed up. Hello. Thank you for freeing me. I'm Graman Gramara, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. I don't know exactly what's going on, but not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the ship. They took myself. And Orma, the float's owner, hostage, and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home. But I'm not budging until the coast is clear. I'm used to dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. Well, that's totally fine. I mean, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, an unarmored... You lady, I'll do. I'll deal with it. And you're just a bouncer. Yeah, I'm definitely better suited to um to this, aren't I? Go on, tell me about them. What you know of them? All I know is there seems to be four of them. They blindfolded me before they put me in here, so I didn't see much. All right, fair enough. The bloated float. The float has three decks. This deck is the in deck. The next level up is the tavern deck. And then there's the top deck. Okay. I like the way you can ask him about. I like the way you can ask him about the Imperial City, as though that's relevant. Okay, we're gonna go sneaky, stealthy. Yeah, we just wouldn't have. Uh oh. What? I mean, surely you're an enemy, aren't you? 
Because if you are, I'll quite happily paralyse you. Except I can't find the paralyse button. There we go. Get up the stairs, you turd. Uh oh. Hello there. Where do you think you're going? Celine's not going to like this one. Who's Celine? Celine Gomez. Uh, Lynch sent me up here. Lynch sent you up here? Why? Did he send you to talk to Celine? Uh, yes, I'm to assist her. That's why I have Lynch's clothes in my backpack. What does she need assistance with? She has Ormil under her own watchful eye in his cabin. Something isn't right here. What happened to Lynch? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> That's literally the option. I actually said, I don't know how that will come out in the editing, but I actually kind of said he's dead before that came up as an option on the screen then. He's dead. You? You bested Lynch? I always knew he was Great. Right. I'm going to try and paralyse this lady. Well, I suppose it's up to me to do his job for him as usual. Oh, you, you pleb. Why won't you die? Holy moly. What'd she say? Did she say, Droy, join my what? Trophy something or other. Can you not do that? I like this. Again, what do you mean the combat in this is janky? Nice. I've killed a second thief. This one, a dark elf named Minx. Seems like these thieves are using strange code names. What was the first one? Lynch. Well, I mean, Lynch is an actual surname. I had a Mr. Lynch. He was a teacher of mine in one, in one of my schools. Anyway, the only useful bit of advice I discovered is that their leader seems to be named Celine. Uh, I should search her belongings for anything of use, then make my way to the top deck and secure the ship's wheel for grub and. You got frozen, didn't you? Uh, don't need any of that. Ebony Longsword, we're going to start getting... Hello, going to start getting over encumbered. Where were you two minutes ago? My, um, paralysis thing didn't quite work, did it? Um, she annoyingly sort of took a bit of a step to the side. Oh, it's in there, I think. Do I not need to go to the top deck? I don't know. Okay, I really want to be able to paralyse somebody, so... Odd sentences that you wouldn't normally say... Haha! Are we ready? Top Hang on. Oh no! Not yet. I can't paralyze anyone yet. I'm trying to get my needs a key. Oh, I actually do need genuinely do need a key. Okay, right, fine. So we go up to the top deck. Look at this! Look how much magic that bloody paralyzing uses. It's insane. There might be more than one up here. Wow! What are you doing? Wow! <laughs> they find the golden galleon yet? Uh, I'm awaiting orders. Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this, and I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the Golden Galleon. When did all this happen? Uh, yesterday. I was literally thinking yesterday. Oh, well, if I say three days ago, I don't know. That's very specific, isn't it? I was thinking three days might seem like it's a longer time, and it's like, oh, well, three days, I might have forgotten it. But then also he might say, we only planned this yesterday, or something like that, so... He said yesterday, I'm sure I would remember it. Let's say three days Damn ago. That woman. Oh. She promised a four part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damn thing. Do Lynch and Minx know about this? Uh. Oh, wouldn't you, why only give me that option? This is immediately going to blow my cover. Lynch and Minx. Since they're out of the way, if I kill you, that means Celine and I right. have to take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. I want to be able to. Holy smokes! Yeah, got him. Nice. Think you're in trouble, mate. You are in big trouble. Look at this. We're literally out at sea. Are we on the map? Well, apparently we're still in the waterfront, but I don't think that's quite true, but anyway. Do you want to not want to... <laughs> Pling! I've slain yet another thief, this one a large Nord named Wrath. He was guarding the ship's wheel. He mentioned they hijacked the bloated float to recall, recover something called the Golden Galleon. It sounds good. Uh, I should now get Grabber to tell him the path to the ship's wheel is safe. Part of me wants to leap into the um, sea. 
No, I don't think this is safe to have here. Oh, I literally can't throw it over the... Can't throw it over. Is it not? Oh no, you can. You can. Things can pass over there, but just not... I don't know where that went. I heard it clunk. Oh, there it is. No, you literally can't... No. Interesting. You cannot throw stuff over the edge of the ship. Oh no, hang on, there's a low bit there. I'm just determined to see if it... I mean, could I? Could I get over there? No, it's literally not let me... Hang on. I d problem is, you've got to be really, really careful not to go too far. No, it, there's an invisible wall. Damn it! Oh well, this is the view that we can see from here. But God knows where we actually are. This must be a separate area that the game loads specifically for this. I nearly got a... Are they called booms? Boons? Something like that. These mast things that are here. I can't remember what they're called, but anyway. Something like that. I nearly got one of them in the head. Ah. But yeah, it's cool. I like this when the game takes you to like unexpected locations like this that aren't part of the normal game. But yeah. It's like playing uh, Sea of Thieves again. Look at this. Nothing as far as the eye can see. Anyway. If you did somehow manage to fall off the boat. No clipping boat or something. You'd, be, you'd never get back on again, would you? Right. I've sorted all of your problems. What was that? I had like a, a wump for somebody casting a spell. Sounds like the coast is clear. So I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. I'm on it, Selene. I thought I heard an imperial woman's voice while I was blindfolded. Other than that, I don't know much more about her. Fair enough. Who's Selene then? Their leader sounds dangerous. I thought Wrath was their leader. Oh no, Selene's their leader, isn't it? Actually, in that case, let's have another. Let's have another one of them. In case it's like you again. You didn't help much in that last one, though. I paralysed the guy and he just stood staring at him. Like, oh. He doesn't look too happy. Right. Oh, boobs. I thought he was going to give me two separate options then. Get in here. Uh-oh. Uh... I took the key for Wrath. Wrath? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the ship's cook. There's no cook on board the bloated float. Damn it. Dare you try and make a fool of me? After I deal with you, I'll feed your body to the slaughterfish. Nice, she almost did. Oh, you get in there. You get in there. What's she doing? Nice, you tried. I tried taking my life. I've decided. I decided to kill Celine. Well, I didn't really have much choice. Now that she's dead, I should speak to Orba. So, is there a way of not of that not happening? <gasps> What a blade. I knew I'd be over and covered at that point. But it's a specific different type of blade. I think we've got ebony longswords ready, so I'll drop one of them. Clunk. Throwing swords about willy nilly. Search Celine. Gold. Is that it? Okay. Oh, hello. Might be something in here. Ah. Uh, hello. Oh, you turd. He just left. Anyway, let's see what's here first. Shadow banish. Shadow, shadow banish. No. Cheap wine, cheap wine. This is the sort of place that they would put Shadow Bandish wine, because you've only got the one opportunity to get it, I think. Well, I don't know, maybe when this goes back to... Carrots. Uh, maybe... Nice plate of carrots for tea. When they go back to, um... No, it's not there. Uh, what do you call it? The waterfront. Maybe, um... Maybe you can come back on here again, I don't know. Is that a lectern as well? Desk? Okay. Fine. Okay. I think we're done. Where's Orbill gone? Keith Harris and Orbill. There he is. No, nope. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to talk to. I'm trying to talk to you, Orbill. Oh, thank goodness! That horrid woman kept threatening me. She said if I didn't come up with a loot, she'd throw me to the slaughterfish. What loot? Okay, Blackwater Brigands, Selene. It's a pity she wouldn't surrender. Such a waste of a young life. I didn't really have a choice. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden gallon, 
that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Anyway, sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. Right. Is that all we have to say? Oh. Her body and the bodies of her compatriots when we arrive at the Imperial City. Don't let it trouble you, friend. Okay. What about this golden galleon I heard about there? Where is it? <laughs> like, total dunce comment. Anyway, um... What does Shadow Banish 1... Look? I'm pretty sure Shadow Banish 1 looks like proper, like a normal, standard, average bottle of wine. Beer. Ale. Tan jug. Beer. No. I just, it just seems like the kind of place where there might be... I'm sorry! Just, like, it seems like there might be a, um... We're not allowed out at the moment. Uh, might be a bottle of Shadow Banish wine, but maybe not. Okay, so we're gonna go below decks and then sleep, and then when we wake up, we'll be back at the. Hello. You're always one step ahead of me, and I can't. I still can't go in here. See, I'm kind of weird. That it's making me making me want to go in there. I might tunnel my way through the wall like a beaver. Uh, yeah, just sleep an hour. That should be enough time to get back. Sweet. But again, really cool idea for a quest. Just totally random. And the only way you'd really find it if you weren't looking at a walkthrough is if you chose to, to sleep here for the night. Otherwise, you just, you'd never never find this. You know, nobody tells you about it. It just happened. Anyway, bloated floaters arrived back at the Imperial City. I should speak with Ormil before I disembark. It'd be cool if there was like a leaflet somewhere that said like, by the way, there's rumour of a secret treasure on the, on the bloated float. And then you could kind of, yeah, find it from there. Hello. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Selene. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. Okay. You say capture. I mean, she's technically dead, anyway. She was a ruthless woman, and I'm glad she's gone. Such a waste. Fine. Okay. Yeah, another quest done. Sweet. I say I know it's only a weird kind of minor thing, but I do kind of, I do quite like it. Right, I need to steal fifty golds worth of stuff to start my career with the thieves guild. Nice. Yeah, so the ship is still there. The children are starving. Please help. Puny Ancus. I'm so hungry. Have a coin. Thank you kindly. I don't think voice changes so much. Someone said the bloated float mysteriously departed from the docks and then returned. I didn't know she was even seaworthy. I think that's nonsense. Don't believe everything you hear. Right, we need to go to... <gasps> we need to go to... Um, not that way. In fact, completely the opposite way. I need to go to the... Was it Elven Gardens? Elven Temple? What's it called? Is it Elven Gardens or which is the one with most houses in? I can't remember which one's the one with lots of houses. It's not the plaza, I don't think. Temple District? Let's try there. So I need to sneak into places. Actually, this is probably best to do while I haven't got an Olaf in tow. Are you Hieronymus Lex? It's, it's you, the hero of Gavach. It is. This is truly an honor. You have seen me many times before, but anyway. Right, so 50 golds worth of... Yeah, loads of houses here. Who can see me from here? Oh, him. <laughs> okay. I just tried picking this the genuine way, because I have got a skill of 35 now. God damn it. There we go. Shh. They'll never know. Right, so I need to nick... Yeah, 50 golds worth of stuff. Oh, hang on, that looks like Shadow Banish. It's not, it's cheap wine, god damn it. My obsession with Shadow Banish wine is get out of hand. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of prized, nickable stuff here. Oh, hang on. 
I mean, in all honesty, they probably... A lot of people in the Thieves Guild will probably quite like to have these spells. <laughs> Makes the job a lot easier. Anyone home? Oh! Bear pelt? They're 30. And 35. Nice! Okay, 35. We're on it. We're on there. We're, we're getting there. Brown shirt, maybe not. No. Err. Okay, so 35. I just need to find a bit more. I should probably... Close the doors as well. <gasps> yeah, that'll do, would it? Am I going to be over in cupboard? I bloody am, though, aren't I? Um, oh, actually, that's only worth... Nice. I should have enough. Can you kind of, like, overload it? Like, if I took a load of stuff back in one go. Could I do, like... Because I think you have to do 50 and then 100 and then whatever. 200 and then... Can you do more than one step in one go, basically? Okay, so now I need to go to Ongar, who God knows where Ongar is. Oh, oh, uh, right, if I was an Ongar... Okay, I'm assuming this is Ongar. It didn't come up with like a plink, you have done enough. And you spare a coin? Rag bag, Bontar. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. When you say kids... I mean, you look about 70. You've had a you've had a hard life on the streets, haven't you, love? You've had a difficult paper round, as they say. Who are you? Hello. What's going on with you? I do love the little random kind of inter-character conversations that you get. They're really cool. And I think I've said this before, but in a lot of games you get this situation where they'll just say random stuff to each other. It doesn't make sense. But in this, they kind of actually, you know, the, the, the lines of dialogue sort of follow on. You know, sort of like, did you hear about blah blah blah? <gasps> well, I never, etc., etc. But which is kind of cool. Oh, is he actually in the? Where is this taking me? Where is Ongar? Maybe he doesn't even live in the Imperial City. I didn't actually check that. Oh, is Ongar that creepy dude that's round this corner that sells like lockpicks and poisons and stuff? No. I thought, because there's this guy that sometimes, no, because isn't he, he's Dark Brother, isn't he, that, that weird guy that stands around here somewhere, yeah, him, Shady Sam, hey, you need something special, check out my wares, you won't check out my underwears, store, that's for damn sure. go on then, what you got, I offer the finest goods and yeah, look, I mean, what's going on here, Skooma, and lockpicks, for days. Don't really need anything though, mate, to be honest. Right. What the hell? Oh, Ongar lives in Bruma? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this bit out. I'm going to go back to Frostcrag Spire, drop, drop off some crap, and get myself a new Atronach. And then we'll travel from there to Bruma. Okay, we are back. Uh, oh, you can see the tower in the distance. I got vibes of dark crystal from that. Anyway, we're back here on Doll Mountain um, with this little campsite, this kind of cute little campsite. We've got ourselves a prior Mabrils horse and a Frost Atronach familiar. Olaf is back. Anyway, we're going to head to Brumar to sell the, the crap we picked up. Uh, what else did I do? Pretty much that's it. I dropped off a load of crap back at the at Frost Crag. So, so we've got a bit more carrying capacity. Including the Blackwater blade thing that, um, this looks dangerous, doesn't it? That, um, it's not even a handrail. Uh, that apparently absorbs fatigue. So when there was that weird orange light, uh -oh, going between me and, what was her name? Celine. Um, it was because of that. I was having my fatigue absorbed. But, uh, God, Benny. Heading downhill in this game is absolutely terrifying. Because once you, once you... If you kind of find yourself in mid-air, with, no, with a bit of a gap in the ground, there's nothing you can do to to stop that happening. What was it? Oh, I can't remember. There was something in Bioshock that... Oh. Oh, it's you lot. Oh, no. Oh, Christ, what was that? Uh-oh. Nope. You missed. You missed. You missed again. Are you not dead? Are you not dead? Okay, he's dead. Nice! Nice, that was a bit better. That was a little bit easier. God, my phone went off and scared the pants out of me then as well. Um, 
Staff of Burden. Burden 50 points for 25 seconds. I mean, that might be quite good. We'll, we'll have some of that. And the other one? And the other one? And the other one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, excuse me. What the hell was that? Did he get hit? He got hit a little bit. I don't know what the noise was. I was like something disappearing, but like these two are already dead. Look at them. Goblin shamans. Is this that? That's that one we've been into before, isn't it? Yeah. Plundered mine. It's full of really ridiculously over desperate, like overpowered goblinos. You notice that the, the line of combat has just basically been reduced to just mashing um, Elsa's. Not Elsa's Fury. What's the other one? Elsa's Kiss. where he's gone. He'll catch up. So we're off to Bruma. I don't know if there's any more gates will have appeared here. This looks like the kind of place that you'd expect a gate, isn't it? But, but no. There's not even an achievement. I've probably said this already. There's not even an achievement, <coughs> excuse me, for closing all the gates in the game. Which you think would be. I mean, that would be quite an achievement. But I know there's a big one appears just basically there. Or somewhere near here, anyway. Because, like, the big one that you have to go into and... Um, you get a clip from in the intro to the game, but anyway. Hello. Is that bloody horse again? How do you keep getting here? Okay. That's a little bit annoying that every time we have got stolen goods, we have to keep coming to Bruma. This do That does seem vaguely familiar now, in all fairness. It didn't originally. I forgot that we had to go elsewhere. Yeah, it's round it. I remember this. This is all coming flooding back. But it's a bit of a trek for the Imperial City each time. It's a good job there's a fight. I'm Regner. You want anything? Talk to Edla. She's in charge. Talk to Elsa. She's in charge. I hate it here. Came here with Edla. All these snooty southerners. The damn guards won't let anyone have any fun. Typical Nord. Basically, that's the dialogue you get from everyone in Skyrim. Um, is it here? Is this Ongar's pad? It is. I mean, it kind of, kind of makes sense that Ongar doesn't actually live in the Imperial City if that's where he's being searched for. Olaf's totally confused. He thinks a deer has got his head stuck in the wall. It's like, how's that happened? So I, it's just, a, it's just. Hang on, where is he? There he is. Ongar, the world weary. He's got about enough. Well met, I see you are with the grey fox. How do you see that? Defense. I do. Uh, have I got any fines? Armand Christoph and Striva have special arrangements with the guards and judges throughout Cyrodiil. They can make all your outstanding warrants go away for only half the price of the fines. See, half the time you don't even know if. Uh, sorry, you don't even know if you've got a fine. All thieves guild members have sworn. Okay. Um, about the thieves what guild. Do you want to I want to. Where can I find a fence? I can handle some types of stolen. Ah, here we go. What you got? Oh, do I have to? Do I have to sell it to you like this? Oh, I see. Right. That. I think I can move this item for you at that price. And then what else was there? Oh no, he doesn't take everything. He only takes certain items. Oh. Of course, I was forgetting that they're not actually worth the full amount, are they? Bottoms. That's not good, is it? I'm going to have to... I suppose I could technically, while I'm here... Do you want that as well? But that's not fenced, is it? God damn it. I'm glad that... Okay, I'm going to have to go and steal some stuff around Broomar very quickly. Hello, who are you? Who's that guy that came just wandering in behind... Hey, I'm Tolgan. Herald to Countess Narina Cardane here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. What's this regarding? Countess Carbane would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from eight in the morning until six in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Right. Okay, what does she want, Countess Carvade? Sounds a bit vampiric. The Countess is in attendance from. If you wish to seek audience with her, please return. Well, that's a bit weird. I like the way you followed me to the house to tell me that. They was like, oh, hang on, they're in the middle of some ropey transaction. I'll come back. 
Okay, I mean... I'm just going to try and steal some something in here. Um, maybe not in here. <laughs> what kind of, why are there loads of cards in there? I was like, this looks like a quiet place where I can pinch something without being noticed. I go in there, there's like three people and two guards. Yeah, we'll leave that one. He's going to want some money, isn't he? Can you spare a coin? Fetid. I'm so hungry. I bet you are, mate. I bet you are. Thank you, kind. You're not even dressed for it. You've got short sleeves. What are you thinking? No, I'll get jammed down there. Um, there's a lot of guards around here, aren't there? No, I don't want to. Okay, we'll pop it here. It's got to be somewhere where it's not full of guards. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the middle of the day, really. Bum, 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 bum. My dad says it's worth 30. Although, I'm not even pinching it, am I? That's not even stealing. Because it's not even coming up with a little red hand to say that I shouldn't be doing it. They don't mind me taking stuff from this house. God damn it, hang on. Let's have a look up here. What's this? Let's do... Hang on. I don't... I've got... A, feeling that this isn't actually going to count as, as stealing. See, look, this would be perfect, but it's not going to count, is it? Look, I'm allowed to just take it. Who are you? How are you? I think I must have maybe done... What am I stuck on? Oh, I think I must have... Get off. Done something in the past that means she doesn't mind me stealing stuff from her house. Damn it, we just have to find somewhere else. Ugh, hang on, what else have we got? Oh, I love that music. Oh. Bane, Bane Lind. Okay. Now the fact that this was locked implies that we're probably. Hi. I might swim more if it weren't for the slaughter. But even that. Really. What's the news from the other parts of Tamiya? There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstein and remove the Imperial. No, this isn't going to help at all. Okay, what I might have to do, I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment because that is over half an hour now. I'll leave that there for the minute. What I will do in the next part, I shall find an area where we can steal stuff from, and then who would have thought stealing would be so difficult? And then, um, and then go back to Ongar, 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 whichever one it is, and then um, get that stuff sold and begin our journey into the thieves. We got a bit distracted with the bloated float this time, but anyway, I'm all right actually, mate. How are you? Look at him, cross that out. But he probably Olaf probably loves it. Here. This is like as close to Arendelle as you can get, really, in this game. Anyway, we shall leave it there for the minute. So thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.